What's up YouTube? I'm Mayank Tyagi and this is the video lecture series where I solve hacker rank problems. Uh, you can check my playlist for the problems that I have solved till now. I'm gonna put the link for the playlist in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into solving this uh, birthday cake candle problem. This is one of the simplest problem uh, in a hacker rank. So let's see what the problem says and then we will start solving this problem and writing the code for this problem so this is a simple problem in which uh, you are charge uh, of the cake for your niece birthday and have decided the cake will have one candle for each year of her total age uh, this, this means that the number of candles will be equal to the age of the children or uh, age of the niece uh, okay so when she blows out the candle, she will only be able to blow out the tallest, tallest one. Okay, so we have to find the maximum height of the candles and then we have to see what we have to do next. Your task is to find out how many candles she can successfully blow out. So basically, uh, let's see what is the input format. So input format uh, is sample input uh, is we have we will be having a number n which will be the number of candles or the age of the niece and then n space separated integers where each integer i describe the height of the candle okay so we will have n number and then an array of size n which will have the uh, height of the candles so what we have to do we have to first find the maximum from the array and then we have to count those maximum elements that how many maximum elements are present so for this sample input we can see that that uh, there are two three present in this three is maximum so the output is two so that's the simple problem let's write the code let's me expand this and change it to java okay so i'm going to simply complete this function so first of all let's uh, take a number integer max mm, let's take it equals to array of zero now loop it for for int i equals to one to i less than array dot length i plus plus and then compare every element if sorry if max is less than array of i what we have to do we have to just simply replace the value of max with array of i and by this we will find the maximum element now what we have to do we have to use one another loop for int i equals to zero i less than array dot length i plus plus i plus plus now what i have to do i have to just simply compare if max equals to array of i i have to do simple count plus plus oh sorry i haven't declared the count yet so let me first declare a count variable int count equals to zero Int count equals to zero, and here we have count plus plus. So now, just simply return count. Count sorry. Okay. So let's try to submit this and see if all the test cases are working fine or not. Okay. So there is some error. Oh, sorry here ar is given i have used arr so let me change it and run again so now all the test case has been passed that's the simple problem and it's quite simple very very simple problem so you can see that i have used one for loop to find the maximum element and then one for loop to 
count the number of maximum element present in the array and just simply return the count that's the simple logic and if you like the video don't forget to like and if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it thanks for watching have a nice day see you in the next video